excited to be able to share springtime with you. It's so neat. We have all kinds of wonderful things happening right now. The trees are waking up and the flowers are starting to come back and all kinds of little friends are coming out to play. Now, sometimes when we see something that looks different, it's easy to maybe be scared of it because we don't understand it. But just because it's different from you doesn't mean that it wants to hurt you. So today we're going to learn about how you can be a superhero. In the springtime, there's a lot of bugs and some of them, some of them bite us and some of them can even make you really sick or gobble up all of your fruits and veggies. But some, some small friends are kind of amazing. Now they do look really different, but we just said, just because they're different doesn't mean that they're gonna hurt you. So let's talk about how you can be a hero. This is my buddy, Square Bear. She's our Wonder Bear. She's going to help keep me safe today so that I can show you our friends. Not because my friend is going to bite me, but because my friend has really funny hair that can sometimes make me sort of itchy. So let's get started. This, this is a tarantula. This is my really good buddy. I'm gonna set her right here so in case we crawl off of the here, Square Bear can just help us hold. So tarantulas are amazing. They eat up all kinds of bad bugs, thousands of them in their life. They catch them in their web, which they make with this really awesome little thing back here called spinnerets. So they spin a beautiful web to catch bugs. And this one, he's, he's just kind of hanging out here. He doesn't look too, too scary, does he? He's just having a wonderful afternoon. So how can you be a hero? I told you there's a lot of these guys coming out, maybe not tarantulas, but spiders. We have a bunch of those out here in the Southwest. So what happens if you find a spider or a tarantula in your house? What do you do? Do you smash it with a hammer? <gasps> no. <laughs> that would hurt the spider. There would be no more spider. And that would be really sad because just because they're small and different doesn't mean that they don't deserve to live. Everything has the right to be here and we want to make sure that we're not doing any harm. And so let's say we find a spider or a tarantula and it's in our house and maybe we'd prefer if they were out in the garden instead. So what you can do is help them onto something, maybe a lovely stick or a flower or even a piece of paper. And then all you have to do is take a box, set it over top, and you can take your friend outside without ever hurting them at all. Take that lid off and let them walk out into the leaves. So let's learn a little bit more about tarantulas. Now that we know how we can be heroes for our little buddies that we find that maybe need to be rehomed outside. So tarantulas are beautiful creatures. They have funny noses. This is our nose. We keep it right here in the middle of our face, but tarantulas do something completely different. They have this really beautiful spot right here on their back. There's a little hole. Oh, and they take a deep breath in, it moves all of their blood and oxygen through their body, and then they can move each little arm by themselves. Now let's count. They have, they have a lot more than I do. I have one, two, two arms. Well, I'm not a tarantula. If I were, I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight arms arms. That's really neat. They're able to use every single arm all by itself. They have really special little toes too that have hooks at the end and that's how they hold on to things. I'm going to show you. We can, whoa, we can fly upside down with Square Bear and our tarantula goes nowhere. So these guys are amazing. They can live 30 years. A female tarantula takes a long time to grow up. So to get this big, it takes her about 10 years, but she can live to be 30 or more in the wild. They have lots of wonderful babies and they come out, all of the brothers and sisters, dozens, 
hundreds of them. Not all of them will get to make it this big, which is why they have to be protected. So mom, she'll use those lovely spinnerets and she'll make herself an egg sac and the babies will stay until they're grown inside and it's time to come out. Now when they come out, they're kind of like how turtles and are, are that their parents don't stay with them. The tarantulas already know what to do. They know that they need to find food and that they need to find somewhere safe to be. So if someone was very, very small and different and you crush them, that would be so sad. They would never get the chance to get to be big. And so that's why we wanna make sure that we're being heroes and taking our friends outside. Now, another really neat thing about tarantulas is that most people think that it's gonna bite you but that's actually not the first thing that they wanna do because they wanna save their venom in their fangs, which are down here underneath these two little special arms at the front. They have fangs that when they bite a bug, it makes them stop moving. And then they turn gooey inside and they can drink them up like through a straw. It's crazy and it's not the, the kind of dinner that I want. But if I were a tarantula, mmm, creme de la creme de la bug, it would be so good. So <laughs> these guys, we said they have eight arms, they have special little nose back here on their back, and they also have, wait, we have one, two eyes, one, two arms. Tarantulas, they have eight of those too. And they're all sitting right here in a little ball together eight arms, eight eyes. This back here, this is their tummy. So that's where they keep, um, they keep what they use for defense back here on their abdomen. These are called urticating hairs, scratchy hairs. Remember I said I'm not gonna touch her with my fingers because sometimes it makes my skin itchy, but that's actually what they use to defend themselves. So if something comes along that thinks that they might be delicious to eat, They'll use these back legs and they'll flick off the little hairs and then it's itchy instead of having to bite them. So tarantulas will eat thousands of bugs in their lifetime if they're able to get big. Beautiful, beautiful creatures. So I am so excited that you guys took this time to get to learn about someone that maybe looks a little different, but it, again, doesn't mean that they don't deserve to live. So I wanna make sure that you guys remember to be heroes. Just cause you're small doesn't mean that you're not important. I love you all so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Do you smash it with a hammer?